Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how we can connect X or Twitter to make.com. It's a little complex, but not too complicated. So let's just dive right into it. Head to make.com, go to a blank scenario, and we're gonna add any one of the modules from X, which is formerly Twitter. It'll show up like this. We're gonna go ahead and select the create a post module. Right now it's currently connected to my Twitter account, but you're gonna to need to add a connection. So to do that, we need the client ID and the client secret. So I'm gonna show you guys where to go to get that. So I'll have this link for you guys down in the resources. This is on make.com's website, just walking you through in word format, how to do exactly what I'm gonna be showing you in video format today. So go ahead, head to the X developer website right here. You can click this link right here, or you can just Google it and it'll take you to this platform. Make sure that you are currently signed into your Twitter account that you want to connect. Sorry, I should start saying X because it's now X. And go up here to the top right corner and select developer portal. Click into that and it's gonna take you to this screen right here. It's gonna tell you that you need to choose between basic and pro. We don't want to do that. We just want to use a free account. So we're gonna say sign up for a free account. This is where you're going to have to prompt your use cases. So what are you wanting to automate onto your Twitter account? What are your use cases? And this has to be 250 characters or longer. So for that reason, I'm gonna prompt chat GPT and it's gonna do it for me. I'm gonna take a screenshot of this. This is just what I like to do. And I'm gonna throw that into my chat and I'm just gonna explain what I need. So I'm basically just prompting it. It needs to be 250 characters or longer. I want to automate my social media posts about AI and no code automation because this is for me, right? This is my use case because that's what I do for businesses. So I'm going to be posting about AI news, tips and tutorials for no code automation, blah, blah, blah. You can prompt it however you want and it's gonna spit out this. I want that to be a little longer because I don't know if that's uh, going to be long enough. I'm gonna copy that, paste it in right there. Oh, maybe that is long enough. So. Looks like we're good, so I'm just gonna leave it as is, and I'm gonna say, yes, I understand, and check all of these to agree to their terms and conditions, and then I'm going to hit submit. And it's gonna take you to this dashboard right here. So this is your first project. We're gonna want to click into this, and we're gonna want to rename it. So we're gonna go into settings, and then right here underneath the name, I'm gonna name this just Mason. I'm gonna hit edit, and then I'm gonna rename this Mason uh, dash AW test. AW4 automate what, which is my business name. Project use, I'm gonna say making a bot. Description is optional, so I'm gonna leave that blank. I'm gonna hit save. And now over here, you can see your projects and apps right here. We can see, I just renamed this Mason-AW test account. Right below that, I'm gonna select the app right there, and it's gonna take you to your app details. Again, I'm gonna rename this, and I'm gonna name it, honestly, just the exact same. Mason-AW test account. Scroll down and hit save. Now what we need to do from here is we need to go to, again, this is underneath the project and the app. So we are going to user authentication settings. We need to set those up. And back here in the make.com documentation, it'll walk you through how to do that. We're gonna be pulling these URIs and redirect URLs, and we're gonna be pasting them into specific fields. I'll show you how. So back here to the X developer portal right here, we're gonna do setup. And then we need to select our app permissions. So I want it to read and write and direct message. So we're gonna do that. It's basically going to allow it to read posts and profile information, read and post direct messages, all that stuff. So I'm selecting that. As for the type of app, this is also required. I'm gonna select web app, automated app, or bot because that's my use case. And then as for the app info, this is where we're pasting in these URIs and redirect URLs. We're gonna go back to this documentation right here in make.com and we're going to copy these right here. So I'm gonna copy this first one right here. Go back to the developer portal. I'm gonna paste that in right there, add another, and I'm gonna go back here and it says, and we're gonna copy this one as well. Copy, paste that in right there. As for the website URL, this is required. We're heading back to the make.com documentation and we're grabbing this email for website URL right there. And then we're copying that and then pasting that in right there. As for the rest of these fields, they are optional. So I'm just gonna leave them blank and we're gonna hit save. Changing permissions might affect your app. Okay, hit save, yes. And it's gonna take you to this screen where we now have our client ID and client secret. Again, that's what we need right here, client ID and client secret. So we're going to copy those and put them in these fields. So back here in the X developer portal, we are going to copy the client secret or sorry, the client ID paste that in right there. And the client secret, we're pasting that in right there. And you're gonna want to name your connection. So if you want, you can keep it my ex formerly Twitter OAuth 2.0 connection, if you wish. I'm gonna name it, just I'm keeping the exact same naming conventions as I did in the developer portal. So Mason dash AW test account. This is just for demo purposes. We're gonna hit save. And then it's gonna pull up these windows right here for you. So I'm not gonna save that password. It's gonna pull up this window right here. And you just need to approve that make can access your account, your X account. 
So yes, continue. It's gonna pull up this redirected screen right here. And this is where you need to sign into your X account. So again, I'm signing into my X account. This is just an X account that I quickly made up really fast. So I'm saying yes, authorize the app. And you'll get this screen right here that says thank you. And once you click okay, it's gonna take you to this screen right here where you can configure your X modules now. So for this, let's go ahead and give it a test. So we're again, we're creating a post. So we have it connected to our new connection, our new X account, right? Mason dash AW test account. And this is the text content where we're putting in what do we want to tweet, right? So what do we want to post? I'm just gonna say, hey, what's up AI and automation people? Hit okay. And we're gonna run this once and go back to my X account and see if it posted successfully. So I'm gonna refresh my page and we can see right here, hey, what's up AI and automation people? It's successfully connected. I hope that helps you guys. Hopefully it wasn't too complicated for you. So from here on out, you can now post automatically using make.com to your Twitter account or to your X account, I should say. By the way, my name is Mason. I love AI, I love automation. I specifically love make.com. So go ahead, give me a follow if you haven't already because I've got tons of useful content for you guys. Thanks guys.